Let's just do this real quick. Just so everybody knows. That way I can help you guys out. So for the server slam, May 12th to the 14th, this is going to be an, a little update for you guys if you do not know. Okay, so it's May 12th. It starts at 12 p.m. Uh, PDT, which is 3 p.m. on EST, which is my time. Okay. All right. So you get to play all of the characters. Everything gets reset, and you can play characters up to level 20. After which you cease to gain ability points and all that other good stuff. Okay. The legendary item drop rate has been altered to reflect the drop rate that will be present in the launch version of Diablo 4, which is very important. This is by far my best thing that I'm looking forward to because uh, there's not necessarily any new content. It's just these small changes. So this is very, very important. So if you had a build from the last beta that was entirely focused on like a legendary power, you may have trouble getting that power for your level 20, 20 character, just so you know, okay? Even more so, any character progress made during the early access and open beta, week, uh, beta weekends that we all played does not carry over. So you have to start all over again. Now, to put it in, into context, uh, context, it got me. It took me about four hours to get a character from one to 25. So it should take you less to get it to one to 20 if you're just like grinding. Um, so that so that's very very important okay uh includes all the bugs and fixes if you guys want to check that out but more importantly and this is the big stuff is we get to fight a shava again okay because your characters can't surpass level 20 during server slam uh defeating her will be quite a monumental task a lot of people are concerned about um stuff that happened in the original beta of how lower level players were coming in to fight Ashava and basically just tanking the entire fight because their characters weren't strong enough um, or they were trying to get legendary items from stronger characters defeating Ashava and getting those legendaries to put on their lower level characters so I really hope that they really have combated you know like combated this pretty good but hopefully that really doesn't happen we have a really really good way of doing this um, is and it's the same thing that we did last time when we fought Ashava, which was we did a four man group. We went and fought Ashava, and then we kicked one person out of the group, and they still were there. And then we had that person invite three more people from our clan. Okay, this is going to be the same thing that we're going to do this go around for the beta. All right, when we're fighting Ashava, this just helps ensure that our 12 man. Uh, 10 or 12 min maximum is like a lot of players that are in our community which will help lower the chances of lower level players coming in to fight Ashava because in all seriousness like unless you have some decked out characters fighting Ashava at level 20 when she's a level 25 boss is going to be very difficult especially with some characters like the sorcerer where if you get hit one time by her spin move you just insta die so we have a really good process of kind of thwarting lower level players coming in and trying to tank the the fight but with that said um here's the opportunities that we have to fight ashava so may 13th which is the saturday at 9 a.m pdt and every three hours after um she will spawn until may 14th at 9 a.m pdt so starting at noon est and then every three hours after, we will get to fight her. That's roughly nine times. You will get to fight her nine times throughout the course of the beta. Okay, so that gives you a full 24 hours to get at least one character that you're going to play to level 20. And then you can go, you know, just take Ashava down. So this is the most important thing. Now, with Ashava, you get this cosmetic reward okay i know that some people have posted this video out, but i think a lot of people are still unsure of time start times and then rewards so on top of your previous rewards okay like the the wolf backpack right you get the wolf backpack you can still get those rewards that you could have gotten from the previous early access and open beta weekends so you can get all those again so if you didn't play you go get make a level 20 uh, character and defeat a Shava, you'll get those. But then you get the mount cosmetic for defeating her. This is the new addition to rewards for killing a Shava, which is this right here. It's this horn here, not the rest of the stuff on the horse. It's this horn here, guys, that I'm outlining. 
It's a Shava's horn for defeating her, and you can put this onto your um, mount, okay? So that's the addition to it. You also get the Beta Wolfpack Cosmic Item, if you didn't get it, the Early Voyager title, and then the initial ca uh, Casualty title. These were all rewards from playing in the Early Access or Open Beta. If you didn't get a chance to play in that, or you just didn't reach level 25 and kill a Shava, you have another chance to get everything. So I really enjoy that. Um, so real quick for PlayStation, or excuse me, for PC, uh, you can you don't have to wait till May 12th. Early download uh, starts on May 10th at 12 p.m. PDT or 3 p.m. EST. Okay, if you're on P PC, it's in the Battle.net client. You're just going to download it, okay? Uh, once you're on the download game page, go to game version and select server slam okay this is very very easy to do um that's it for pc and then on xbox and playstation you launch the store respectively on each search for diablo for a server slam and then download and that is it for those that still have the open beta downloaded it'll be available for you once season uh server slam starts so that's it we already checked out the developer update but that right there guys is just a quick overview and reminder of everything and how to access download the server slam what you're going to be looking forward to especially um through it and then fighting a shava which is just going to be great and the rewards for that so i really hope that that clears up any other questions um but still if you guys have questions please let me know like the video comment down below and as always stay gaming guys and i cannot wait for server slam we have four days 19 hours left so get out there get prepped Check out some build videos, all that good stuff, guys. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys over in the brand new sanctuary. Peace.